In this video, we are going to see two problems and we are going to check the validity of these two arguments. So I am going for the first one now. So that is C implies P implies B, negation B and the conclusion is P implies negation C. So in the conclusion, you have an implication over here. So this P we will take in our argument and we will try to derive negation C. Let us see what happens here. So I will write C implies P implies B negation B and P. Now I will try to simplify this and check whether it is coming out to be negation of C. So when I convert this implication into a disjunction, this will become negation of C or P implies B, then negation B, P. Now I will again convert this implication into disjunction. So it will be negation of C or negation P or B, negation B, P. This is a disjunction, this is a disjunction, so I can open this bracket. So negation C or negation B, sorry, negation P or B with a negation B and P. If I look at these two things, here I can now apply disjunctive syllogism. So by disjunctive syllogism, neg B and negation B will go away. So I will left, I'm left with negation C or negation P with only P. Again here I will apply disjunctive syllogism and this P will also go away. So I will be left with only negation C. So this is our conclusion which is our negation C. So this means that this argument is valid. Let us go to the second one now. This double implication I will convert into two implications which is T implies C and C implies T. Then I have C implies negation R. C implies negation R. This implication I can convert into disjunction which is negation C or negation R and then I have a R. I have to try to simplify this cal calculation and check whether it is coming up to be negation T. Now these two implications are there so I am not sure in the next step whether I should carry forward T implies C or whether I should carry forward C implies C. So for the time being let me repeat it again. So T implies C with C implies T. Here I can use disjunctive syllogism again and the negation R will go away from the picture. So I will have negation C. Okay. Now in the next step, this is T implies C and C implies T. So I will drop one of them by simplification. So by simplification, Suppose I drop the second part, what am, I, what am I going to get with the second part? I am going to get uh, T implies C and negation C. If I write the contrapositive of this, so if I write the contrapositive, I am going to get negation C implies negation T and a negation C with it. So now you can see that this is negation C 
and negation C implies negation T. So I can now use modus ponens. And by modus ponens, I'm going to get the thing is negation T. And this is what is our expected conclusion. So this means that the second argument is also valid. So therefore, the argument is valid.